Hi everybody, uh, it's Miss Agnew here. I'm going to read you a story today from our lovely library, our beady eye. The owl is on you all and I want to just say hello and say how much we miss you all. I hope you've had a good home learning day, but I hope you've enjoyed some of the sunshine too. Okay, I'm going to read you Gorilla today, which is a book by Anthony Brown. It's a wonderful book. It's quite short, but it's a very thoughtful book. And it's a book I've enjoyed reading to my year four classes uh, many times. Hello, year four. Just a special hello to you and everybody else. Okay. Gorilla by Anthony Brown. I'll try and show you the pictures as I'm reading. Okay. Hannah loved gorillas. She read books about gorillas. She watched gorillas on the television. And she drew pictures of gorillas, but she had never seen a real gorilla. Her father didn't have time to take her to see one at the zoo. He didn't have time for anything. He went to work every day before Hannah went to school. And in the evening, he worked at home. When Hannah asked him a question, he would say, Not now, I'm busy, maybe tomorrow. But the next day, he was always too busy. Not now, maybe at the weekend, he would say. But at the weekend, he was always too tired. They never did anything together. She looks really fed up, doesn't she? The night before her birthday, Hannah went to bed tingling with excitement. She had asked her father for a gorilla. In the middle of the night, Hannah woke up and saw a very small parcel at the foot of the bed. It was a gorilla, but it was just a toy. There she is, with her toy gorilla. Hannah threw the gorilla into a corner with her other toys and went back to sleep. In the night, something amazing happened. Look at this. Imagine that gorilla in your bedroom. Hannah was frightened. Don't be frightened, Hannah, said the gorilla. I won't hurt you. I just wondered if you'd like to go to the zoo. The gorilla had such a nice smile that Hannah wasn't afraid. I'd love to, she said. They both crept downstairs and Hannah put on her coat. The gorilla put on her father's hat and coat. A perfect fit, he whispered. There they are, ready to go. They opened the front door and went outside. Come on then, Hannah, said the gorilla, and he gently lifted her up. Then they were off, swinging through the trees towards the zoo. When they arrived at the zoo, it was closed and there was a high wall all around. Never mind, said the gorilla, open over. They went straight to the primates. Hannah was thrilled. So many gorillas. There is indeed. The gorilla took Hannah to see the orangutan and a chimpanzee. She thought they were beautiful, but sad. See if you think they're sad. They do look sad, don't they? What would you like to do now? The gorilla asked. I'd love to go to the cinema, said Hannah. So they did. Can you guess what film they saw? Afterwards, they walked down the street together. That was wonderful, said Hannah, but I'm hungry now. Okay, said the gorilla. We'll eat. Time for home, asked the gorilla. Hannah nodded, a bit sleepily. They danced on the lawn. Hannah had never been so happy. It 
You'd better go in now, Hannah, said the gorilla. See you tomorrow. Really? asked Hannah. The gorilla nodded and smiled. The next morning, Hannah woke up and saw the toy gorilla. She smiled. Hannah rushed downstairs to tell her father what had happened. Happy birthday, love, he said. Do you want to go to the zoo? Hannah looked at him. She was very, very happy. So that's a happy ending for Hannah in our story, Gorilla Today. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the sunshine. Miss you lots, but see you soon. Bye, everybody.